Okay, welcome to our first book. It is Peek a Book, and this is by Malachi Doyle and Rowan Martin. Once upon a time, there was a book about a sleepy, snoozy cat. Then a dog from another book spied her sleeping, and he started to chase her. Woof! Woof! So the cat jumped right out of her book and into another book. Far, far away, deep in the woods, there lived three bears who had gone out for a stroll while their porridge cooled down. And guess who slipped into the page and licked the smallest bowl clean? Not Goldilocks, but Cat. And guess who tore in after her, landed on a chair, and broke it? Dog. Cat saw dog, so she sprang straight into the biggest bowl. And it and into a giant's castle. Fee fi fo fum yelled the giant. I smell a cat. He chased her all around the castle and down a beanstalk. But Dog was there at the bottom, barking his head off. The startled giant slipped and came tumbling down. Cat jumped lightly on top of him, bouncing over Dog and into... A forest. Racing through the trees, Cat passed a boy tossing crumbs over his shoulder as he and his sister walked through the woods. Hansel, whispered the girl, I think we're being followed. And they were, by Dog, who was gobbling up every one of the crumbs. Cat ran into the cottage made of candy, leaped through the window, and landed in... Another cottage. She tucked herself into a rickety old bed. Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Dog. But it wasn't Grandma who answered. All the better to see you with, said Cat. She hopped off the bed and ran right into... A little house made of straw. Let me in, cried Dog at the door, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Not by the fur on my chinny chin chin, shouted Cat. So Dog huffed and he puffed, woof, woof, ah, choo. But Cat escaped as the straw fell down all around Dog. Soon, Dog followed Cat to a river. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge, grunted a grumpy troll. Just me, said Cat. Well, I'm going to eat you up, roared the troll. Oh, don't do that, said Cat. 
A big fat dog will be here soon, and he will be much tastier than me. And off she went over the bridge and down the path. But Dog snuck safely by the troll and continued the chase. Run, run, as fast as you can, meowed Cat. Scampering away from Dog, an old man, an old woman, and a pig. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread cat. She skipped and skidded straight into... A grandfather clock. Dog started clamoring up after her when, bong, the clock struck one and dog fell down. Hickory dickory dog. Cat sprang into a story with seven dwarfs. One, two, three, counted Dog, trying to find her. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Cat was feeling a bit tired after all that running and chasing, but she managed to jump into one more book called... Cinderella. She found herself at a ball with a beautiful palace. Dog leaped into the page and landed right in front of her. Let's dance, he said gently. And guess what? Cat found he was actually very nice. I was only chasing you because I wanted to play, Dog said as the clock struck midnight. All I ever wanted was to be your friend. The end. So do you think you could go back and name all those stories that they went through? There's quite a few. I challenge you to try that. Okay, head on over to the other book. We'll read it there and we'll see you there.